Again, we'll first start with some pre-submitted questions and then open the floor for live online questions before giving the mic to on-site press. If you wish to ask a question, please raise your hand. Starting with the first pre-submitted question, this one is from Brandon Moore, run it back GG, and it's for anyone from Crew Esports. Compared to Masters Reykjavik, the team has clearly improved by a lot. What are some takeaways from Masters Berlin that you will use to improve even further? Comparado con el torneo en Reykjavik, el equipo ha mejorado muchísimo. ¿Cuáles serían algunas de las cosas que se llevan a casa de este Masters en Berlín para poder mejorar todavía más? Eh, creo que la diferencia que hubo con el torneo este y con el de Islandia fue el, lo que pudimos aprender a jugar, por lo menos para muchos eh, del equipo de la primera LAN internacional y creo que nos llevamos esa experiencia de, de eso y creo que en este mismo torneo también nos llevamos la misma experiencia para el Champions. I believe that the difference between Reykjavik and Berlin for us, it was, as, it was not the first time that we have the chance to play in LAN. Uh, so I think we're taking the experience to fighting against most of the teams in this tournament. Next one is from Declan Laughlin, upcomer. And this one is for Kesnet. Do you think the tech pauses or the technical difficulties on stage impacted the outcome of any of your matches at this tournament? I guess neat. ¿Crees que las pausas técnicas o las pausas tácticas eh, hicieron algún efecto, cambiaron el resultado de los partidos que jugaron acá en Berlín? Yo creo que, yo creo que sí puede ser que nos no ha animado más a encontrarnos como jugábamos nosotros, pero en realidad yo siento que no, no jugamos un mal campeonato y no sé, me siento orgulloso del equipo. I think that yes, the pauses affect. Uh, it helps us to to get together as players more. Uh, I got the feeling that what we give in this tournament was really good. Actually, I'm not feeling disappointed. I think that we did really well. Okay, opening the round now for live online questions. If you wish to ask a question, please raise your hand. First to go is Dustin Steiner, Esports GG. Hey guys, uh, commiserations on the loss. Um, what uh, what do you think um, LATAM as a region could stand to improve on, especially after this performance at Berlin? Chicos, ¿qué creen que LATAM como región puede mejorar que se llevan de un torneo como este? Uh, I think uh, we need more experience. Uh, we need to sharing more and, and absorb this uh, LAN experience uh, affront the errors, the, the, the anxiety, the stress, all that, and, and use that to improve, improve us and help the region to, to grow. Okay, next one to go is Brandon from Run Back GG. Uh, thank you, my question kind of follows up on that one. Um, with the LCQ going through all of South America, you know, including Latin America and Brazil, Crew potentially may be the only Latin American team to represent the region at Champions. Uh, just kind of how does that feel being able to represent your region in that manner? Eh, yo creo que es un peso bastante grande ser el único equipo que va a estar de Latinoamérica en la Champions, pero creo que vamos a sabemos el potencial que tenemos y el, lo que podemos llegar a dar en el Champions. So I think it's a lot of pressure for us being the only team representing LATAM actually, but I do trust in our potential and I think that we are going to give the best actually. Okay, next to go is Alejandro Sandoval, Jinx Esport. Hello, hola, hola a todos. Uh, what would you like to say to all of the Latin American and maybe, well, well, more most of Spain fans were also watching your your duel against G two. So, what would you say to all of your fans and every single one of you who are following your performance? Bueno. 
primero que nada, muchas gracias a todos los fans que nos están siguiendo, que nos apoyaron en todo el torneo, mismo la gente no solo de Latinoamérica, sino que del de la habla hispana, como España. Eh, muchas gracias por apoyarnos y seguirnos y que sepan que esto todavía no termina, que todavía queda el champion y queda mucho más para representar. We are really thankful with our, all our fans. We want to thank you. We want to thank the Spanish fans, the Latin fans. Uh, and I also we want to say that this is not the end, that uh, we're going to give all of us for the champions. And thank you for following us. Next question is for Dustin Steiner, Esports Hey again, guys. Um, Real quick, uh, what do you think your chances are at champions? Um, and what do you think is going to go differently next time as far as like uh, strategy, preparation, anything uh, you guys have reflections on? Um, uh, of course, we this week we learned a lot uh, through the trains and the match of the tournament. So we are going to focus on that uh, little things we, we learned and try to incorporate in our play style. So in, in Champions, we, we can give a better performance of our team. Next question is for Declan McLaughlin, upcomer. Yeah, this is for Nags. Um, we've heard that there's been uh, some noise problems with the headphones on stage, especially at the start of the tournament. Um, so I was just wondering if those problems improved as the tournament went along and if there were any problems in your matches today. Uh, now the problem well, was al always on the sound, but it's for both teams, so it's not an inconvenience. But the white noise, the, the volume of the game is very unbalanced and the, the volume of the teammates also is very problematic. We have to adjust every time we go on the stage. Next to go is Pedro Romero to click. Eh, primero que nada, yo creo que la TAM tendría que tener dos slots porque ya pudimos, pudimos demostrar en, mismo en Islandia que le ganamos el C2 de. Brasil y justamente en este torneo le terminamos ganando al C1 de Japón que tiene dos y, y al C1 de Brasil. So I think we've proved in this tournament and also in Iceland that we deserve another slot for LATAM and actually we won in Iceland to Brazil and we won the seed in many of our matches. So I think it's proved. Next question is again for Alejandro Sandoval. Uh, taking into account the previous, do you think it's pos possible to see two Latin American teams uh, through the LCQ? Es, muy, es probable que podamos encontrar a dos equipos latinoamericanos si todo sale bien en el LCQ? Eh, si no me equivoco, en el LCQ... Ahora mismo estaría Austras por parte de Latinoamérica Sur y creo que hay tres equipos del norte que son Infinity, Laser y Six Karma, si no me equivoco. Así que nada, ellos se van a enfrentar contra Brasil y no sé, yo por mí que no vaya nadie, pero que vaya el que gane. So, now there's uh, three teams from Middle Latam and one team from South America, actually. So I think they're going to They're going to play against Brazil and let's see, let's see who make it. I mean, in my opinion, there could be nobody, but let's see who make it to the We got another question for Dustin Steiner, Esports CG. Hey guys, uh, who from uh, G2 impressed you the most in this last match? This could be from anybody. Chicos, la pregunta puede ser para cualquiera. ¿Quién nos impresionó más de G2 en este torneo? Nada. Nobody. Do we have any more live online questions? Okay, moving the mic to the on-site press. Who would like to ask a question? First to go is Tom Deason. Uh, 
Hi, my question is for Kesnit. Obviously, this uh, loss is really tough. But overall, what has been your favorite memory of being here in Berlin with your team? La pregunta es para Kesnit. Eh, por sobre todas las cosas, ¿cuáles son las memorias más lindas o qué es lo que más te gustó de estar con el equipo acá en Berlín? Yo creo que la experiencia en competir fue la más linda. Eh, siempre tuve ganas de estar en en un stage así como Berlín, entonces para mí es un sueño cumplido hacer esto y me siento feliz. So our all experiences, I think that the being on a stage as this one, it was always a dream for me. So I think the competition is indeed what I'm taking the most, uh, being part of some big event like this one. Okay, next to go is Fraxter. Hey guys, uh, do you have any special rituals before you go on stage for a game like that? Do you have any lucky charms with you? Chicos, la pregunta para cualquiera. ¿Tienen algún tipo de cábala o, o algo que les dé suerte que hagan antes de ir al escenario en un partido como el de hoy? Yo, yo me persino y, y rezo. ¿Qué? Okay. Me persino y rezo. So he prays. And he makes the cross. And he prays. Anyone else? All right, then that concludes the press conference for Cree Sports. Thank you so much, Cree Sports, for joining.